Well, well. Look what we have here. You're not much of a sight, are you? Half-starved, bruised, and barely standing. But alive. That counts for something, I suppose. Easy now. No sudden moves. If I wanted to hurt you, I wouldn't have wasted my time pulling you out of that rat's nest of a ship. Well, sit down before you kill over. Smart. You're not stupid, at least. That's good. Stupidity gets people killed out here faster than cannon fire. Name? Nothing? <laughs> maybe you're in shock. Or maybe you just don't trust me yet. Fair enough. But let me make one thing clear. You're on my ship now. I'm the one asking the questions. You don't get to play the silent type with me. Try again. Name. Still nothing, huh? Fine. Suit yourself. I got plenty of time to get it out of you. Besides, it's not like you're going anywhere. Relax. I'm not here to chain you up or throw you in the brig. Although, if you give me a reason to, well, let's not test that, shall we? Don't give me that look. I've seen it before. Fear, suspicion, a bit of fire underneath, like you're daring me to be worse than the bastard who had you before. You think I'm like him? That pirate king who treated you like, what? A servant? A slave? Something even less than that, judging by the scars on your wrists. Don't flinch. I'm not judging you for what happened. I know the kind of filth that man surrounds himself with. He's a coward, wrapped in stolen gold. Too spineless to fight his own battles. Let me guess. He used people like you to do his dirty work. While he sat back, barking orders and drinking himself stupid. Am I wrong? I thought not. Here's the thing about men like him. They collect shiny things, like magpies. But the moment those treasures stop being useful, they toss them aside. People, gold, ships, it's all the same to him. Just things to hoard and throw away. I'd wager you've been living on borrowed time since the moment he claimed you. Don't look so surprised. I've been in this game a long time. Seen all types. Kings, queens, thieves, mercenaries. People who think power comes from what you take from others. But me? I build my strength by keeping what matters close. And crushing anyone who tries to take it from me. Which brings me to you. Do you know why you're still alive? Why I didn't leave you to rot in that floating carcass of a ship? No, it's not pity. Don't insult me. If I wasted my time on pity cases, I wouldn't be standing here as a captain of my own damn fleet. No, I saw you, even in chains. Even with all the fight beaten out of you, there was something in your eyes. That spark. You wanted to live. You wanted to fight. But you didn't have the strength. So, I gave you what you couldn't take for yourself. A chance. What do you do with that chance? Well, that's up to you. But don't mistake my mercy for softness. I don't keep dead weight on my ship. You want to stay? You earn your place here. Of course, if you'd rather leave, I can drop you at the nearest port. Though I'd think twice about that if I were you. Ports are crawling with men like him. And most of them won't bother chaining you before they slit your throat. Good. I thought you'd see reason. Now, 
Let's get a few things straight. First rule, my crew is your crew. You don't touch their stuff, you don't start fights, and you damn well don't betray them. We're a family here, and we look after our own. If you can't do that, well, you're better off walking the plank. Second rule, don't lie to me. I hate liars almost as much as I hate cowards. You've got a story, and when you're ready to tell it, I'll listen. But don't feed me half-truths and expect me to trust you. Understood? Good. You're catching on. Now, let's see about those wounds. You're no use to me half-dead. Stay still. I said stay still. If you squirm, this will hurt more than it has to. Hmm. Tougher than you look. You didn't even flinch when I cleaned the cut. That's good. Pain's a part of life out here. The sooner you learn to live with it, the stronger you'll be. There. That should hold for now. We'll have the ship's medic take a proper look at you later. For now, you need rest. And food. You look like you haven't eaten a decent meal in weeks. Don't argue with me. You'll eat what I give you, and you'll like it. I don't tolerate back talk, especially not from someone I just saved. Here. Fresh bread, salted fish, and water. It's not much, but it's better than whatever slop they fed you on that cursed ship. Go on, eat. Slowly. You'll make yourself sick if you wolf it down like that. There's more where that came from, so don't act like it's your last meal. See? That wasn't so hard, was it? Now, get some sleep. You got a long road ahead of you if you want to prove yourself to me. But don't worry. You'll get there. Or you won't. That part's up to you. Sweet dreams. Or nightmares, if that's more your style. Either way, welcome to the crew, little spark. Let's see if you can keep that fire burning. Ah, uh, there you are. Finally awake, are we? Good. I was beginning to wonder if you were planning to sleep through your entire new life. Yes, new life. That's what this is, whether you realize it yet or not. The person you were on that other ship? Dead. Gone. Forgotten. Here, you start fresh. Clean slate. Now, don't look at me like that. I'm not saying it'll be easy. In fact, it'll probably be the hardest thing you've ever done. But you're alive. And that means you got a choice. Fight for your place, or let life drag you under. Which is it going to be? Good answer. You got some fire left in you after all. Let's see if it's enough to keep you afloat. Come on, get up. You've rested long enough. What's that look for? Did you think I'd let you lounge around all day while the rest of us do the work? Not a chance. This is a ship, not a tavern. Everyone pulls their weight. Don't worry. I'm not throwing you into the rigging just yet. you probably break your neck the first time you climb the mast. No, I've got something simpler in mind. Follow me. Keep up now. You're not going to win any favors lagging behind. The crew's watching, you know. They're curious about you. New faces are rare out here, and they're not quick to trust outsiders. No, that's not a threat. It's just the way things are. These people have been through hell together. They fought, bled, nearly died for one another. Trust is earned here, not given. But don't worry. I'll give you the chance to prove yourself. Here we are, the galley. 
you're going to help the cook. It's messy work, but it's honest. Peel potatoes, chop vegetables, scrub the pots, whatever needs doing. Think of it as a trial run. If you can handle this without complaining, maybe I'll trust you with something more important. Oh, don't make that face. You're not too good to get your hands dirty, are you? I've peeled plenty of potatoes in my time. Pirate King doesn't start at the top, you know. I worked my way here, just like you'll have to. Good, that's the spirit. Now, remember what I said, no complaining. If the cook throws a pot at you, duck and get back to work. He's grumpy, but he's fair. He'll respect you if you earn it. And while you're down here, I've got things to tend to. This isn't a pleasure cruise, after all. Don't worry. I'll be back to check on you. Think of it as motivation. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the crew intimidate you. Some of them can be a bit abrasive, but they're loyal to me. And if I say you're off limits, they'll listen. As long as you don't give them a reason not to. Good. Now get to it. I'll be back before you know it. And try not to lose any fingers while you're chopping those vegetables. You'll need all ten if you want to survive out here. Well, look at that. You're still in one piece. And the galley's not on fire. I'm impressed. Relax. I'm teasing. You did fine. Better than I expected, honestly. Even the cook had some good things to say about you. And that's rarer than treasure in these waters. He's not one to give out compliments easily, after all. You think I'm joking? He once threatened to throw me overboard for sneaking a bite of his stew. That was before I earned my title, of course. If he hasn't chased you out of the kitchen, you must be doing something right. Come on, let's get some air. The galley's no place to linger if you don't have to. Besides, I want to show you something. Beautiful, isn't it? The open sea. Endless. Unpredictable. She can be cruel. But she's also freedom. No walls. No masters. Just you and the horizon. You don't see it yet, but you will. Give it time. Out here, you're not anyone's property. Not anymore. The chains are gone, and the only thing holding you back is yourself. Look, I know you're scared. You've been through hell, and it's going to take time to heal. But you're stronger than you think. I wouldn't have saved you if I didn't see something worth saving. That spark I mentioned earlier... It's still there. I can see it. It's faint. But it's growing. And if you let it, it'll burn brighter than you ever thought possible. So what do you say? Are you ready to stop surviving and start living? Because out here, you can have a future. A real one. You just have to reach out and take it. Good. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Welcome to the crew, little spark. You're one of us now. And trust me, your old life won't hold you back anymore. Not if I have anything to say about it. There you are. I've been looking for you. Surprised? I wouldn't blame you. I'm usually too busy putting out fires. Or starting them. To go chasing after anyone. But you've earned my attention. Don't look so startled. Yes, I mean that. I've been watching you, you know. Not in a creepy way. Don't make it weird. I've just... Kept an eye on you. Wanted to see how you'd handle things. And you know what? You've impressed me. Truly. Not many people could bounce back the way you have. 
let alone on a pirate ship, where survival is a daily battle. But you? You've got grit. Strength. And I'm not just talking about how you hauled those water barrels like they were feathers yesterday. You've proven yourself in more ways than one. The crew's noticed it, too. Oh, they'd never admit it, of course. They're too stubborn for that. But they've stopped grumbling when your name comes up. And that's saying something. Come on, let's sit. I'm not going to bark orders at you for once. You deserve a moment to breathe. Besides, I've got something to share with you. Here, Rum. It's not fancy, but it's ours. And tonight, it's yours too. Consider it a reward for everything you've done since you came aboard. Don't argue, just drink. <laughs> You're still cautious, I see. That's good. It'll keep you alive. But trust me, I don't poison my crew. I've got better things to do with my time. So... How does it feel, being part of this life, a real crew, a family even? Oh, don't roll your eyes. I know it's a bit sentimental, but it's true. We look after our own here, and that includes you now. I mean it. You're not just some random drifter I took pity on. You've earned your place through blood Sweat and sheer stubbornness, you've become one of us. And I'm proud of you for that. Do you know how rare that is? For someone to rise above everything that's tried to drag them down? You didn't just survive. You thrived. That takes strength most people don't have. Strength I respect. I see the way you carry yourself now. There's confidence in you that wasn't there before. You're not that broken, frightened soul I pulled out of the Pirate King's hold. You're something else entirely. Someone else. And I like this new person. Fierce. Determined. With just a hint of mischief. You've got potential, little spark. More than I think you realize. And if you stick around... I'll make sure you have the chance to see it for yourself. No, I'm not buttering you up for some grand scheme. This isn't a con. I don't want anything from you. Well, accept your loyalty. I think I've already got that. Don't act like I'm wrong. You wouldn't still be here if you didn't trust me. But if I'm being honest, I trust you too. And that doesn't come easily for me, you know? Why? Because I've been betrayed more times than I can count. People see power. They want it for themselves. They'll lie, cheat, steal. Anything to get ahead. But you? You're different. You're honest, even when it's hard. It's a rare quality out here. So here's the deal. You've got my trust, my respect, and my protection. As long as you stay loyal to this crew, you'll have a place here. A real place. Not just as another sailor, but as someone who matters. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll have a ship of your own. You've got the makings of a leader. Don't laugh, I'm serious. There's something in you that people want to follow. I see it in the way the crew listens when you speak, even if you don't notice it. But for now, you're here, with me. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Finish your drink. Tomorrow's another day, and the sea waits for no one. But tonight... Tonight, you're a part of something bigger. Welcome home, little spark. You've earned it.